Guys, I just want to say welcome and thank you for supporting us. We're looking forward to the next 10, of, 10 days of hunting and we're going to have a wonderful time. Looking forward to this. Cheers. Cheers. We just shot at a big ass sable, wild bull, one shot, about 25 yards. So we're on our way and see if we can get that bull. He's definitely down. So let's just give him some time and see. Uncle Dan, I just want to say well done with this magnificent sable bull. This is a very special bull. You don't see bulls, especially as wide as this one. Um, it's our first day here in South Africa with Dublin Hunting Safaris. We uh, were here earlier in the day. We were looking for the sable. We were sitting in the blind and waiting for him. But three hours passed and we did not see the bull. We went back to camp. We had a nice lunch and we came back. And it was another half an hour and this bull popped up and uh, you made a Beautiful shot, beautiful shot. Tell me a little bit more about the hunt and about this magnificent animal. He kind of slipped in us. We weren't weren't expecting and we no, had no. some birds out there making some noise and all of a sudden he was there and it was go time and uh, made the shot. He didn't run far and piled up and uh, here we are, day one. The day one, day one, sir. Magnificent sable, beautiful shot, one shot, one kill. We still have 10 days left and uh, we are here to make Memories. So we're looking forward to the next couple of days. Uncle Dan, well done with the magnificent you, sable, sir. sir. And thank you for hunting with Dublin Hunting for Paris.
Okay, Mr. Dennis. Yesterday we scouted the area. We found a nice croc that we were interested in. But uh, our plans didn't work out. Came close. Came close, but um, it didn't work out for us. So we left the area and left the croc so they can get um, a little bit eased again. And we're back this morning. Gotta try and see if we can find that same croc. Hopefully in the same place and get a nice short shot angle on him. Okay. So we're gonna go up this hill on the side of the dam and see if we can scout any nice potential crocs okay. from there on. And if we find a croc that we're interested interested in, we will start making a a plan on from where we're gonna do and how we're gonna approach it. Okay. Slow and easy. Yeah, slow and easy. Behind the shoulder, behind the shoulder, behind the shoulder. Okay, good one in the back leg. Good shooting. Got him, man. Good shooting. <laughs> <laughs> It's day two, trying to get the crocodile. Some things didn't work out on day one, but um, just to explain to us and tell us a little bit more. Yeah, day what one. What was your experience on the entire hunt from day one till yeah. we succeeded on harvesting a crocodile? Well, day one, at another dam, we made a stalk and got within 64 yards of a, a really nice croc. And uh, just last second, as I was putting my cheek down to aim on him, he uh, I moved too fast and he spooked and got in the water. So we're a little bummed about that one. But today we made a very long stalk all the way around. Good walk. And uh, got within 60 yards of this one and nailed him. We put him in his place. Uh, I'm excited. It was a fun hunt. Uh, all the folks here say that that was the longest stalk they've ever seen on a croc, so I got a record of some sort. <laughs> so it's been nice. This is just the first of several. We'll, we'll be back. <laughs> well, um, I'm glad that we got you in a nice position on this croc. These guys did a great job. I and mean, your, a great job. Your short placement on the croc was, was excellent. You didn't move yep. one feet. So we, uh, that is, we did make excellent. a good shot, um, and this is my first, so I'm learning. But everybody says that you've got to make that first shot count, or they'll get in the water, and nobody wants to go swimming to get one. So we accomplished that, fortunately. And that first shot was right on the money. Congratulations, Mr. Dennis. Thank you. Thank Congrats. you so much, man. I appreciate everything. Fun hunt. Very fun hunt. And I'm seeing a lot of things here that I've seen for the first time. 
and this is the first wild crocodile I've, I've shot. Um, yesterday was the first one I've ever seen in the wild. And we've seen all kind of animals that I've never seen. So we're gonna go hunting again, get number two on the list. Guys, please come. Yeah. It's up before the food is cooked. The, the chef just want to tell you guys exactly what he up to there. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Tonight, uh, we prepared the banana soup, the one you eat on the table. Then, for main course, I do have a homemade bread here and the potato wedges, and a sub of fillet, and the gravy, and the lamb chop, and the fried green pepper and the yellow mix of the peppers and the sweet potato rolls in a caramel sauce then in here I have a fried green beans just to the sesame seeds and onion that's what I had for tonight, I hope you enjoy the dinner Yeah, Mike, it's day three now. Uh, we've been off of this buffalo now. Spot a nice bull on the first day um, from the truck. And we started stalking probably around five, six kilometers. Yesterday afternoon, we got very close. Um, very close. Going, you have that bull on your heart. It's the one we want. That's our target bull. We've seen a nice one. We're definitely uh, focused in on him. He's the biggest one in the herd that we've seen so far. And it's pretty tough, challenging with the bow. Uh, we got close yesterday, hmm. just couldn't seal the deal. We ran out of daylight, and here we are again. Yeah, hopefully it's an early start, so hopefully we'll get it today. Uh, thumbs up, let's go. Good luck.
Fourth day, third day, where are we third on? Day, yeah. Third day, chasing buffalo for three days with a bow. Got kind of frustrated, picked up the rifle, and uh, kind of went on a free-for-all, for lack of better terms. Had a few animals on my bucket list. Sable was probably second next to the Cape Buffalo, and Kudu's right around the corner. Uh, we found a herd, and this was the biggest guy in the herd, real beautiful Sable, and proud to have him. Hunting with W and Safaris. You know, we had a good stalk. Um, you made a perfect shot. What was it, about 100 yards? About 100 yards. Dropped in his tracks, and I mean, we call it the Prince of Africa, and there's a reason for that. They're a beautiful, beautiful animal. After about and a half an hour of tracking, we finally got Uncle Dan's in Kapala. Well then, beautiful shot. Nice, old, mature male. Perfect shot. This is day three. We've had a struggle for the last couple of days. Day one we did well, but uh, it's my first Impala. This mature male came in. This old male and uh, presented a shot. It turns out he was quartering to us a little harder than I thought he was. Shot looked really good, but he still went about two to three hundred yards. Thanks to our great tracker, he was able to track this animal down. We caught up with him, and I'm so excited. Got a lot of days of hunting ahead, lots of animals to chase, but my first Impala, and I couldn't be happier. I seen it. Yeah. That second one it was good. It was good. That was quick. Finally. Finally, oh, we got him. This was a tough one. Yeah, I mean, he sneaked away from us a couple of times, but you managed to finish him off with the bow and this thick stuff. I mean, it's a beautiful bull. Yeah, he's pretty. This yeah. one gave us a struggle. Uh, hit him in the shoulder, and hit him again high, and then got the thick stuff and was finally able to finish him off after quite a little track. But absolutely gorgeous animal. I can tell you Africa is not the same as North America. These animals are tough. <laughs> they don't want to die. <laughs> they do not want to die. No, congrats again. Thank you. Okay, cool, dude.
Okay, Uncle Dan, I just want to say well done with this magnificent Nyala bull. This is one of the spiral one, one animals. Um, you made a beautiful shot on a, a little bit too high. You got the tip of the lungs. This bull he took about an hour to go down. Tough animals, tough hunt, and it's really thick out, out here. Tell me a little bit more about the animals and about your shot, sir. Yeah, I think just the excitement of uh, going through the bush trying to get a good shot off at him and uh, it just got him a little high uh, put us on a little bit of a walk a little bit of a chase but uh, we got finally got him where he laid down and uh, gave it up he gave, 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 uh, he definitely did, did so yeah but it's all bull and a perfect shot we're looking forward to the next couple of days we're looking for blue wildebeest and uh, Zebra and bush park and stuff. Well done, okay. sir, with your magnificent thank you very much. and thank you for hunting with Darwin Hunting Safaris. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. Thank 100%. you. Thank you, sir. Here we are on another wild goose chase. If anything I've learned in Africa, shoot on the shoulder, not behind the shoulder. We just went like five or six kilometers before we caught up with this guy. And uh, he was down, a little, just slightly quartering to us. And uh, we didn't realize it when I shot. And uh, we put in some mileage today. Thanks for everybody working so hard to get it done and catch up with this beautiful wildebeest. We've been driving around this morning looking for fresh line tracks and uh, battling a bit as well, it's a little bit hard. But we managed to pick up some fresh tracks, so we're going to follow that track and see if it can deliver your line for you. Sounds like a plan to Are me. Are you ready for this adventure? <laughs> yes, I am. That's all we need to know.
Did you enjoy that? I did. <laughs> oh, I did, I did. How's that? Show us your hand. <laughs> yeah, it's quite stable. <laughs> oh, I was, I was staying calm till we got the shot off. I ain't calm no more. <laughs> Can we look? Thank Congratulations, you. sir. <laughs> nice shooting. Hey, look at those things. How's that for weapons? Yes, sir. A thousand stitches a minute. <laughs> so, Mr. Dennis, um, we are sitting next to your African line. Trophy. Trophy yes. of a lifetime. We had a tough couple of days. We have. Before the lion hunt started. We had an excellent day, a prosperous day with the lion hunt. Yep. We battled to find some tracks this morning. The ground is hard, it's rocky here. But um, we managed to pick up some tracks and we started tracking the lion. And it was within an instant that we, we spotted the lion and the stalk went went on from there our first shot was presentable at about 40 yards we pushed the line a bit up to about 18 yards yeah we got close real close so tell us what was your experience on this hunt well I've been anticipating this for a long time and uh, I was wondering just how calm I could remain to get this shot off and make a kill, clean kill, so we're not treats to the line. <laughs> but um, it worked out great. Um, like I say, we got within about 40 yards and we kept creeping up, creeping up, till we finally got there to about the 18 yard mark. And it got exciting at that point. Uh, he was laying down, stood up, had to make a quick move or he would be out of sight. And uh, we put a put a nice shot on him. Took three to put him down with the 375, which is kind of amazing to me that something won't drop in its tracks with a gun that big. But this is a big animal, much bigger than I ever thought it would be. They tell me it weighs about 550 pounds. Uh, never in my life dreamed that I would see a cat weighing 550 pounds laying in front of me. But uh, this is the hunt of a lifetime, man. This is, this is great. And this gentleman right here did everything to get me through what we've been through before. Some good hunting, a great stalk on a crocodile, a great stalk on a, a sable, which didn't go well because of me, but we're still working on that. But this, uh, this made up for any bad luck that I've had so far. Uh, I'm just tickled to death with this. Oh, Mr. Dennis. Once again, congratulations you. on your line. Thank you so much. Good shooting. I got a whole crew behind this thing that I owe thanks to. And uh, I'm not sure of all the names, but, uh, but Rick, Willie, Marcel, the group behind me. Uh, man, it's just we, a lot of great people, a lot of great times. We've had a blast. This just cherry on top. <laughs>
Uncle Dan, I just want to say well done with this magnificent Cape Buffalo. Uh, this morning we were sitting in the blind and we saw a couple of other animals and the whole herd of buffalo bulls came in and we uh, spotted this bull. He made about a 15, 18 yard shot. He shot him nice behind the shoulders. Um, the buffalo went, we tracked him about for two hours and then we got him. Tell me a little bit more about the hunt and uh, how tough these animals are. They're very tough. We thought the shot was really good, looked really good. We thought he'd be down a lot quicker than he was. Yes, so definitely. But it just shows you that the, the black death, how tough that they are. But you made a perfect shot. Well, well done, sir, with the magnificent cave buffalo. And thank, thank you for you. hunting with Dublin Hunting Safaris. Okay, day one in the free state. I mean, this morning was a slow morning for you. Um, Very slow, I stayed the bed. Yeah, after traveling and different temperatures and stuff, you feel a little bit sick. Uh, me and Pam went out this morning uh, at the blind. Uh, we had a nice white spring buck came in, but couldn't get onto it. And uh, yeah, then you said you want to go off the zebra. And yeah, we have uh, traveled to many animals, giraffes, gims buck, spring buck, blessed buck, wildebeest, but we were kind of targeting the zebra. I was actually trying to get Pam on one with her crossbow and they just wouldn't cooperate. So we picked up a rifle and took this guy. Nice old zebra, very proud of him. And we're gonna go for another one, hopefully yeah. for Pam. Hopefully. Well, congrats again. Thank you, sir. Well, Mr. Dennis, um, we finally got your kudu after about a week. Yeah. Uh, the first property we were at, we saw nice, really nice kudu bulls, but yeah. we couldn't get you onto one. It was extremely thick. Um, we tried hard. We yeah. sell. Yeah. A lot of buffalo thorn and and circle boss that kept us from getting to the kudu, making the stalking difficult and all of that, we moved to another area. Uh, we got four Kuru bulls uh, this morning and uh, this was the best one out of the group. 
Um, he's got nice shape to his horns, beautiful ivory tips on top. Um, how was this hunt for you? Well, I'll tell you, today's been a good day, but uh, all the animals have made us work hard for them. <laughs> we, uh, we've, we've been out chasing things all day. And, uh, we came across this group of uh, kudu, and uh, they gave us a little run for our money. They, uh, they were pretty elusive. But we finally got on them uh, after a lot of chasing, and uh, we had to wait to get a presentable shot with this boy. But he finally did. It was it was a pretty sharp angle, but we put a good shot in him, put him down one shot, and got a beautiful kudu. This, these ivory tips are just awesome. And uh, it's very, very symmetrical. I'm pleased. It's really nice. Really, really nice. Yeah. So. Unfortunately, we we couldn't get the, the shot and everything on, on camera. Uh, everything just happened a little well, bit too we, quick. And we were really moving, trying to get this thing. When, we had to make the best of it when he gave us a shot, so. Yeah, and uh, earlier this morning we, we got a zebra. Yeah, that, also um, gave us a run. <laughs> also gave us a run, but um, that was your your wife's animal for your anniversary. Yeah. And um, My we, wife had been talking about a giraffe yeah. or a zebra for our new house that we just moved in. And uh, so this morning was our anniversary, 44 years. And we went out. We went out and got a zebra for her. We made it successful and brought it back. Asked her how she wanted it done, rug, mount. Um, so, not many women ask for a zebra for an anniversary, and not many guys can produce it on that same day. But we made it happen. <laughs> yeah. Also funny. We we were after the zebras also for quite some time. Yes. Uh, during the week. Yes. And we got instructions this morning that it. We have to get that zebra today. Yeah, boss and, said we had to. It happened. <laughs> we happened really quickly after they. His gave boss us and my <laughs> boss said we had to. <laughs> so, once again, um, Mr. Dennis, congratulations on Thank this. You. this. Thank you. Thank awesome, you so much. Awesome. Poop. It's been great hunting with it's you guys. Delicious. Let's go to the left. You have to go. Mr. Dan? Yes. Congratulations on the sable. Thank you very much. We've been a little bit unfortunate with the first one, but the second one. Everything worked out wonderful. Made it happen. Yeah, I think this has been a gracious day for us and for you especially. We uh, This is a special day. This is our 44th anniversary. And my wife said that she wanted a zebra rug or something with a zebra. So we went out first thing this morning and brought home a zebra for our anniversary present. And uh, then went out and got a kudu, which was great. That was on my list. And then come got this big boy. We've had a heck of a day. It's been a wonderful day. Man, this man right here, I may adopt him, take him home. <laughs> <laughs> We've had some fun this week. Awesome day of the WN hunting safari, it's relaxing around the big campfire. Looking forward to the next couple of days of hunting.
I'm pulled. <laughs> Mike, finally, finally, go. Black Death is on the ground. I mean, we have a struggle now. What's it? Day six, seven? Six or seven? I've lost count. Second last day of the safari with um, WN Safaris. I mean, we struggled a couple of days to get a nice bull. Um, the first ones gave us a run for our money. Um, this one came this afternoon. We stood at about what, 17 yards? 17, 18 yards. Yeah. Yeah, and you made a perfect shot. I couldn't ask for a better shot than that. We struggled all week. We stalked these guys for several days, just couldn't get in bow range. Got in bow range a couple times and uh, just couldn't seal the deal. Didn't feel safe sending an arrow through a thick area. Yeah. Uh, they don't like to come out in the open, so it's been tough. Yeah, I mean, what, probably ran about 80 yards. Bow shot, killed. Perfect. Roughly, yes. Very, very happy. Bucket yeah. list accomplishment for sure. Congrats again. Thank you. Push it a little bit behind the shoulder, eh? Well, Mr. Dennis, here we are yet again. One more time. <laughs> one more time, one more animal down. Um, we got this nice Gemsbach bull, a nice old mature bull. Yep. After pour, passing up numerous Gemsbach. Yeah, we've seen quite a few today. Yes, we, we tried to get that other one, but he just didn't want to stand still to give us the opportunity to, yeah, yeah. to shoot. So this one... He stayed on the move, made it a little hard. And uh, this director here tried to stop him whistling and talking to him and whatnot. He did, this animal did not want to talk to him, or that one. <laughs> but this one uh, gave us a little easier run, so we got him. I'm proud of him. It's a nice one. Really nice. Yes, um, we got lucky with this bull. It's a very nice bull. Um, we still got the full day ahead of us, so let's see what. We got to pick out another one. What to else? Chase. Yes. <laughs> what else the, the bush can provide for We're us? We're having good luck here. Really good luck. Everybody here has been very really generous and easy to work with. Fun to be around. This trip has just been amazing all together. So maybe one more and a long flight home. <laughs> well, Mr. Dennis, thank congratulations. You. Thank you so much. Nice thank you. Spot for It's gonna be hot. Denny, it's your cast. You get the first dip. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, seasoned a lot. It's not yeah. real tough. Mm -mm. It's not real tough. It's actually pretty good. Rawr! Yeah. Rawr! <laughs> 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 Yeah, you get the honors, Denny. It's your what, what is this? Who do, sir? That's just I mean, decoration. This is different spices and different sauces. Let's just try him like he is. Yeah, just How try him like he is. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. We call it plunky meat. Plunky meat, yeah. 
Add some barbecue, add some hot stuff. Put a some small one there, grab for Pam. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, then, yeah, I'm gonna take it to the ladies. This is what I think for you guys to finish with. So we started with the bow, uh, shot the first Impala, you said you want a saddleback or a black Impala and I mean shot this one this morning, took the rifle. A magnificent animal, just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Yes. I mean it's probably your first time in Africa shooting a rifle, a little <laughs> bit uncomfortable Well. and Look at this, two animals <laughs> one morning, about two hours from you. Yeah, we knocked, uh, knocked out Mike's buffalo and uh, took a little pressure off where I um, could focus on me a little bit. And, yeah. and we've had a very, very uh, good morning here. It's two wonderful, perfect examples of, of what Africa ha has to offer. Oh, well then, congratulations. And thank you guys. Just wait for it to go into the clear opening. Is it going to be heavy like a male? Yeah. Okay. Just wait. The one way over here? Yeah, yeah. Just looking at the right one. First stop. <whistles> nice. Okay. On the shoulder. You got her. You did it good. How did you go that far? <laughs> Good job, baby. Whoa. <laughs> well done. High five. Huh? Yeah. Yay. Nice. Congrats. Oh, yeah, well done. <laughs> Get it on it, Benny. <laughs> talking to you from Africa been hunting with WN hunting safaris had a great time I'm Mike this is Pam Hello. this is our first time in Africa um, I don't know we can't have we don't have enough good stuff to say about it I don't even know where to start from the accommodations all the lodges that we've been to the food has been extraordinary the drinks uh, black label beer has been a favorite of mine Pam has found some wines that she really enjoys um, as everybody, when they come to Africa, they have high hopes and ambitions and animals they want to chase. And we, we also had those lists. Mine was Cape Buffalo, number one for me, with a bow. I remind you, I'm a big archery hunter. Pam, you were, what was your number one? 
<laughs> my number one was him coming home safe after killing his black which, dad which that's gonna happen. with a bow. Um, but that was successful. So then uh, after that, I was able to relax and enjoy doing some hunting myself. I uh, was able to get some beautiful animals. Um, <laughs> it, it's... Well, he has some really great guides. Everybody's professional. Um, Marceau, who's behind the camera now, has been filming all of our hunts for 10 days here on our safari. Um, we just don't have enough good things to say. Very professional. I was introduced to Willie through a mutual friend who hunted over here in Africa a couple years ago and had the same experience. Uh, just extraordinary. Uh, no loose ends, no edges cut. I mean, just 100% the best experience you'll ever have in Africa. I, I had a lot of reservations coming here. I was looking forward to it, but as a female, I was uh, I was a little nervous coming to a foreign country um, to be in the, the bush hunting. But this organization made me feel completely safe, comfortable. Uh, felt like a, a queen being waited on. Uh, it's been a, a lovely experience. Uh, highly recommend it. Our guide. Uh, Devon has been very patient with me and <laughs> helped me to achieve all my goals. She did excellent today. She, she harvested three animals in one day. Um, I don't know what else we can say, guys. If you're ever looking to come to Africa, uh, I would 100% recommend WN Hunting Safaris and Willie Neal. Um, communication is great. Accommodations are great. Uh, Pam. The food. The you know, staff. keyed in on the safety. You know, when you come over here, you hear negative things about other countries. We've been nothing but positive experiences, good people. Um, I just don't know what else I can say. Well, your final and last animal, congrats. The red ledgeway, um, you're down to the free state for it. And I mean, we've saw a couple of them. 
This one by far was the nicest one we've seen. Old, nice girl at the back. Beautiful animal, beautiful. Old, exactly what we're looking for. Uh, perfect representation, red lake way. No, well, congrats. We had a fun safari. Um, your days are finished tomorrow, flying back. Unfortunately. Yeah, but you'll be back. I'll be we'll back. See you in the yes. future. You don't come to Africa just once. This is my first time. I figured that out. Yeah, already. <laughs> now, congrats. Thank enjoyed you. Enjoyed it. Your final and last African animal for this trip. Um, I mean, beautiful springbok. It's our national antelope. It is just a magnificent animal. This this property, this country is just gorgeous. Um, it has been a pleasure to be here. I really enjoyed the hunts with you, uh, you. with your whole team. Um, this is the perfect example of the springbok. Uh, yeah. Couldn't be any happier. Yeah, we have to. We had to shoot it from the vehicle. The rifle is a little bit heavy for you, but I mean, what was it? Two hundred and eighty or two hundred and sixty-eight yards. Mm -hmm. it's quite a poke. Yeah, we started out with my my bow uh, at our first camp and with an Impala, and decided with the the landscape we have to deal with, we, we moved on to a, a rifle for me. So I uh, had quite a bit of success and really enjoyed it. And congratulations again. Thank you. Perfect. So here we are in South Africa. We thought we were done. Uh, Pam had to go after a spring buck and she made short order, short work of that. And we had a lot of day left. So we drove around the ranch and I said, hey, those things look pretty cool. What are those? So Devon uh, pointed one out. That's a nice, nice old male. And luckily, the other ones we saw keep running the whole time. This one gave us uh, about a nice 100 yard shot. Yeah, maybe. I didn't even range him. He was close enough, yeah. but we didn't worry about it. And there he is. Yes. Well done. Good nice shot. Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are in South Africa. We're hunting today for um, Africa's national am animal, the springbuck, common springbuck. Uh, these guys are pretty wise. They uh, they make it kind of hard to get a shot on. It's like they got a sixth sense. But uh, we found this big boy and put him down at 280 yards. Exciting hunt, very exciting hunt. These guys at WN's hunting safaris are great.
is my first zebra in Free State, South Africa. Made a good shot, dropped right where we shot it, and uh, it's going to make a beautiful shoulder mount. It's an absolutely gorgeous animal. Thanks to WN Safaris for making it happen. Hold back. Hold back. Rotate right behind the shoulder. He's down. Good shooting, sir. Good shooting. <laughs> Smoke two zebras. Alright. There we go. Come and then walk up. Yes, Uncle. Yeah, just put. Another day hunting with WN Safaris. Had a really long shot on this black wildebeest, but the 300 wind mag did the job. Now we got uh, one more guy looking for a black wildebeest. Let's go get it done. Uh, Mike, I just want to say well done with this magnificent uh, black wildebeest. This is your last day with Dublin hunting safaris. We are in the free state. We're going to leave to the airport to tomorrow. Um, I just want to say well, well done. This is a very big wildebeest. Tell me a little bit more about, about the hunt and about the whole experience. The experience has been great. I can't say enough about Africa in general and WN hunting safaris has been amazing. Uh, I didn't even plan on taking this animal until this evening when I seen so many of them running around out here. Uh, it was a challenge. These things do not stand still. We had to poke him at a little over 400 yards and uh, made a great shot on him with a wonderful bull, I'm being told. I don't know how to score him, but he looks magnificent to me. And I uh, greatly appreciate you and your hard work and all your team's hard work. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you for you guys for being here. Hopefully I'll see you in the next couple of years. And thank you for hunting with WN Hunting Safaris. We'll be back, WN Hunting Safaris. Excellent shot. Cycle for me, the rifle. Yes, on the brisket, that whole brisket. Congratulations, Mr. Dennis. Who would have thought?
Paul, Mr. Dennis, here at uh, the end safaris, we make dreams come true. There's no doubt about On that, my friend. literally, <laughs> no doubt the about last that. minute. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. But tell us a little bit about your hunt and how you decided on wanting to hunt a giraffe. <laughs> well, we've had a 12-day safari here at WN Hunting Safaris, and everybody has been just super great to work with. In the 12 days, this will be the 10th animal that we've taken. And uh, after Teresa made around and saw all the animals, we had a 45th wedding anniversary just the other day. And she said that she wanted either a giraffe or a zebra. She wanted a zebra rug and wanted the whole giraffe in our living room of our new home. So <clears throat> we thought about it, decided on just the zebra, and then got over here at this, uh, this area and saw this big male dark spots, beautiful. I brought Teresa over and so we're going home with him. <laughs> it's been a great, great time. I thank everybody that's been involved with this, everybody that helped us with this. Uh, we've met so many good people, it's unreal. This, this is a very hospitable place to be. This South Africa is great, and everybody in it that I've met is great. And I thank all of you. And well, uh, Mr. Dennis. Thanks to WW, or WN Hunting Safaris. Okay guys, I just want to say uh, thank you very much. Thank you for the 11 days of Ali. Thank you for supporting us uh, for W Hunting Safaris. You guys arrived as a client, but you guys are going to live as family. We'll be in touch every week, every third week. Uh, pop messages or emails or stuff. We're not gonna. We, we're still going to be friends and family for the next 10 years. Absolutely. So yeah, I just want to say right there, thank right. you for everybody and everything. We appreciate it. And uh, today's our last night here. Tomorrow we're going to go to uh, Lions Angeli and uh, airport and go to, to do some shopping. And then we're going to drop you guys up, up, off at the airport. I'd like to add to that. I think I can speak for everybody that we thoroughly enjoyed the company here. A big enjoyed the hunts. Enjoyed the fellowship. Do it again. I'm Enjoy looking forward to yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for everything. We're looking forward to see you guys next year or the year or in 2024. Yeah. Guys, uh, cheers, cheers and thank cheers. you cheers. for everything, eh? I'm Dan Griffith from Mesick, Michigan. Flew over, had some friends that organized the hunt, and uh, it wasn't hard to talk me into coming. I was in South Africa about five or six years ago, harvested four animals, and had a long list coming over this time. Um, the big ones this time was to go after Cape Buffalo with the bow. That was a tremendous challenge, had lots of help from lots of PHs, and uh, eventually got it done. Uh, the other one that I saw after was a sable and ended up taking a really special sable. Uh, won't, won't duplicate that, but now I want to get a, a common sable to go with it. Um, just have had an amazing time. We've been to three camps. Both camps are unique and beautiful in their own way. Uh, we've met some fantastic people. I can't even begin to explain the experiences we've had. It, I know so many people sit on the fence and are scared to come to Africa or scared to hunt another country. Just jump over the fence and do it. It's amazing. You'll have the time of your life. You'll see animals that you've never seen before, the opportunities you've never seen before. Just come and enjoy it.
I'm Dennis Buchanan. This is my wife, Teresa. We're from the United States. Uh, Arkansas is our home. And um, this trip came about um, kind of off the cuff. Mike messaged me one day and said that him and Pam were coming to Africa to do a safari hunt. And uh, so I had to think about that all day, got home and asked Teresa if she wanted to go to Africa. And of course she did, she loves to travel. But uh, we came here and put together a grand hunt. I mean, absolutely unbelievable. Uh, I think the whole group were leaving here with 34 animals. And had a lion hunt, which is something that was on my bucket list. And that was a very exciting hunt. And we got within 18 yards of it when we made the shot. Uh, we were preparing for a charge just in case that happened. And it didn't, fortunately. Uh, but this whole trip has been just great. Like I say, many animals, even a giraffe. And uh, these guys uh, at WM Hunting Safaris are just absolutely great. Hospitality is unsurpassed. And uh, he, he's the kind of man that he's gonna please you whatever it takes. So if you were looking to do a safari, uh, WN Hunting Safaris really is the man to talk to. I don't think you could beat it for any amount of money. And he's a very fair price, very gentle man, uh, just great. No is not in his vocabulary. If you need something, ask him. And uh, hope to come back again. We're thinking uh, 2024 will be a return trip of this same group and maybe a couple of extra guys. Uh, so it's been that nice and uh, enjoyed it. Uh, hate to go home to some hot weather. We've had beautiful weather here. Uh, but we got, unfortunately, we got to hit the plane and get back home, take care of business. But uh, have a good day. Thank you. I'm Billy Nell from Dublin Hunting Safaris. I just want to say well, thank you very much and well done to all the uh, clients for harvesting these magnificent animals, uh, some beautiful trophies. And we're looking forward to the next couple of hunts. And uh, see you guys in the next couple of Yes, thank you for a successful hunt with Dublin Hunting Safaris.